Well, I think we can all agree that we don't like having to use paper or having to file paper documents in our tax offices. The more paper we have, the more headaches we have. We want to be able to go paperless in our tax preparation offices. The good news is TaxSlayer Pro Web has every paperless feature that you'll need at no extra expense. Other software companies may charge an extra fee for signature pad capabilities, for scanning capabilities, or for email delivery systems, which are the three main pieces that you need for a paperless office. So, we need to be able to sign, we need to be able to save source documents, and we need to be able to deliver those documents back to the taxpayer. For example, the bank application and the tax return. So, how do we begin? Well, first, we need to get the tax preparer signature into the software. So, I'm going to go into configuration. I'm going to click the select button. I'm going to go into preparer setup. I'm going to select my preparer. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for this button here, electronically sign. And then I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and enter my signature as the prepare. And we'll put a little smiley face on there just so I'll know that it's mine. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. Now I have a choice here. I can save the signature. If I don't like it, I can clear it. But I kind of like it, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Save Signature. It's telling me that my signature has been saved successfully. I'm going to close out of that message. And so now, when I reach the point in a tax return where me or the preparer needs to sign, the signature is going to drop in there on the document. So now, let's jump into a tax return and look at capturing a digital client signature. After we've completed the tax return, We've marked a return for electronic filing. We've marked it for a bank product and so forth. The last page of the tax return is the submission page. We've got another video purely dedicated to this. But right now, let's go ahead and click the sign button for the taxpayer. We're going to have the taxpayer hold the left mouse button down and sign his name, David Smith. and we're going to save that signature. So now, anything that we print out of the program will have the taxpayer signature in the appropriate places in addition to the preparer signature. The 8879 is signed. The tax return itself is signed. And the bank application, as we scroll down and find it, you'll see that the bank application itself will be signed as well. Now, the other feature is saving documents. So let's jump to that segment of the program. We're in the client's return and we want to scan documents into the return. We have a little drop down arrow beside the taxpayer's name. I'm going to click on this drop down and you'll see scanned documents. I'm going to click on scanned documents and this gives me the ability to upload documents to my client's file. I'm going to click on upload documents I can click here to find the document that I want. I'm going to move out to my desktop. I've got a saved client document on my desktop that I scanned in earlier. 
I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to find that scan document. Click open. And voila, that document is now uploaded to my client's tax return. The other spot that I can quickly scan documents into a client's file is actually in the client list. So let's take a look at this real quick. Here I am in my client list and under the button labeled tools I can click on scanned documents and once again I can upload documents drop the files in here or click and find the files that reside on my desktop that I wish to upload into my client file. I can upload up to a maximum of 5 megabytes of each of these file types PDFs, JPEGs, GIFs, TIFFs, Docs, and Excel spreadsheets. The last piece of the puzzle is the delivery of the tax return information to the taxpayer. Well, how do we do that? The most common method is email, if they're not sitting in your office, that is. But we want to go paperless, so we're going to deliver the tax return in a paperless method. From the client list, I can click on the tools button, select email return, and it's going to pull a PDF copy of the return. This is a complete file. It's going to be password protected with the last four digits of the client's social security number. The program will tell you in the body of the default message. We enter the send to email address enter the from address subject tax information I can leave it like that if I'd like the message body I can leave it please find attached your tax information the file is password protected the password is the last four digits of the primary taxpayer social security number I can save this text if I want to or I can type right over it if I want to I can click on send email and the tax return has been sent to the client. This covers our paperless office. We handled signatures, both preparer and taxpayer. We uploaded documents from within the tax return as well as from the client list. And finally, we emailed a copy of the tax return to the client. So hopefully you'll utilize these features. They work for mobile devices and tablets. So if you want to upload documents from your tablet, you can take a picture and upload it. Or if it's emailed to you, you can save the PDF and then attach the PDF to the return. Very straightforward. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.